Hello there, I'm going to explain to you the licensing model around AG Grid. There are two versions of AG Grid, AG Grid Community and AG Grid Enterprise. The products differ in that AG Grid Enterprise comes with more features and dedicated support. AG Grid Community is open source and comes with an MIT license. This means you do not need to buy any license to use AG Grid Community, and this includes using AG Grid Community in production. To use AG Grid Enterprise, on the other hand, you do need to have a license. The rest of this video explains the AG Grid Enterprise licensing model. At the end of this video, you will know what license you will need to use AG Grid Enterprise. There are three components to the AG Grid Enterprise license, which are single application, shortened to single app, multiple application, shortened to multi-app, and deployment license. Single app licenses a group of developers for one application and is priced per front-end JavaScript developer. Multi-app licenses a group of developers for unlimited applications and is also priced per front-end JavaScript developer. Deployment license licenses a production instance. You will need a deployment license if the users of the application you are building are outside of your organization. So in summary, you will need either a single app or multi-app license, then a deployment license if the application is to be used outside of your organization. Let's look at all these parts to the license more closely with some examples. Let's consider one application with four front-end JavaScript developers, and the application is to be used within the organization. We would need a single app license for four developers. An example of this would be a project in a bank with four developers working on an application that would be used internally in the bank by the bank's employees, for example, to assist with its finance or trading operations. As the application is not accessed externally from the organization, the single app license for four developers is all that's needed. Now let us consider the next example. We have again four front-end developers and the application will be used outside of the organization. We would need a single app license for four developers and additionally a deployment license to cover each deployment. An example of this would be a project in a bank with four developers and the application will be used outside the bank. The users in this instance could be employees of another bank or business, or maybe it's individuals at home who are using a specific service the bank provides, such as an online trading platform or just simply accessing their personal online banking. Each individual production deployment requires one deployment license. If software as a service or SaaS is provided, then there is one deployment instance, then that's one deployment license. For example, if a bank is providing trading software that's accessible by multiple clients and all clients are accessing this just one production instance, then that's just one deployment license. If the software has multiple production instances, such as installed on premises for a customer or in the cloud for a customer, then each production instance requires a deployment license. In this example, we have multiple customers accessing one shared SaaS instance and then two customers accessing private instances. That is three deployment licenses in total. So in this scenario, we will need four single application licenses and three deployment licenses. Before moving on to licensing multiple applications, let's chat about developers moving on and off projects. When you license an application for X number of developers, it doesn't matter if developers are moving on to and off the project. As long as the total number of front-end developers on the project at any one time does not exceed the number of licensed developers. In this example, the application is licensed for four developers, so developers can come and go as long as the total developer count doesn't exceed four. You might be wondering, do you need to cover all JavaScript developers on a project? Well, you need to cover all front-end JavaScript developers, that is all JavaScript developers doing front-end work only. If you have developers who are not touching the front-end, for example, back-end developers or developers writing test scripts, well, they do not need to be licensed if they are not touching the front-end JavaScript code. In the example here, we have seven developers, of which only three need to be licensed for AG Grid, as the others are back-end developers who do not touch the front-end code. So far, we've considered building just one application. But what if you have more than one application? 
If you have many applications and want to license them all individually with single app licenses, that's totally fine. However, you also have the option to use multi-app license. Let's consider the example of having three projects all needing a license, each allowing four developers. As I said, it's fine to get three single app licenses for this. However, you may consider a multi-app license. For multi-app license, you don't license the applications individually. Rather, you license the group of developers. Then the group of developers can work on an unlimited number of applications using HE Grid Enterprise. In this example, we have pulled all our developers into one group. In total, we have eight developers, so we need a multi-app license for eight developers. This becomes considerably cheaper if developers were working across projects. It also makes the licensing considerably easier to manage. Most large customers of AG Grid will use multi-app to license groups of developers. These multi-app licenses would typically be corporate-wide to license all developers in your company, or they could be departmental-wide to license all developers within a particular department. We have now gone through single app, multi-app and deployment license. You'll need at least single app or multi-app and then consider deployment license if users of your app are outside of your organization. Now let's talk about renewals. The license is perpetual and includes one year of support and updates. That means you will have access to our dedicated support and be licensed to use all releases of AG Grid Enterprise for one year after you purchase. At the end of this year, you do not need to renew your license. You are entitled to use the last version of AG Grid you got forever. So long as you're happy that you won't have support and you won't be getting new versions. If you do wish to renew, then we offer this considerably cheaper than the initial purchase price. This will allow you to stay on top of all the latest AG Grid features and support. What counts as one deployment? Well, a deployment is one production instance. We do not require separate licensing for developer instances, for testing instances, or even disaster recovery environments. It's just your live production environments that you need to get a license for. If you have a cluster in production and the instances within that cluster are only for load balancing or failover, then that is still counted as one production instance. So again, an entire cluster is one deployment if the purpose of that cluster is just for failover or load balancing. It does not matter if you're deploying on physical servers or virtual servers or any other type of cloud service. I want to finish up on talking about wrapping AG Grid. All JavaScript developers on a project need to be covered by the license. It is not permissible to have just one developer work with AG Grid and only license that one developer. You will need to license all JavaScript developers on your project, not just ones working directly with AG Grid. Similarly, if you have a frameworks team and you're providing AG Grid as part of an internal framework or library, and then that framework or library is consumed by other projects, then all JavaScript developers on those other projects also need to be licensed. And lastly, if you're providing AG Grid as part of a framework or library and making it available outside of your organization, well, that's not covered by the license. You can still do it, but it's not covered by our standard license. You'll need to get in touch with us to discuss that. There is volume discount. If you have a large number of developers or deployments, then please get in touch and we will give you a quote. The prices do go drastically down as the number of developers and deployments go up. That brings us to the end of explaining the AEG Grid Enterprise license. If you have more questions on our license, please email info at ag-grid.com and we will help. If you are ready to buy, then that's also done via the same email address, info at ag-grid.com or you can go to our online portal and use debit or credit card. Simply visit ag-grid.com, go to our pricing page and click on buy. And that is the end of this video. Thank you for watching.